Hi again. In this case we're looking at factoring again, but this is a special case again. We've got this binomial or two terms, and this is a special case that we often call difference of squares. So we're going to see what that means in a second, because what do we got? x squared minus 64 equals 0. We want to factor it. We want to solve for x. And there's kind of a special rule we use in this case. If we have just two terms with a minus in the middle, we're going to find the solution is always going to follow a similar way. What it's going to be is the square root of the first term plus the square root of the second term and then the square root of the first term minus the square root of the second term. So you're going to see what I mean. So what do we got? Square root of x squared would just be x plus the square root of the second term. Square root of 64 is 8. This only works, remember, if we have a minus in the middle. If there's a plus in the middle, this will not be a solvable problem. At least not with real roots and we're not looking at imaginary ones. But I digress. So we had the square root of the first plus the square root of the second. Now the square root of the first again minus the square root of the second. And that's just going to hold true. When we have a term like this, this is always going to work. Again, you don't believe me? Let's try it out. Let's try Remember, if we're unsure if we got it right, multiply it back out. Expand it and see what we get. So x times x and x times minus 8 means minus x times 8. Then x or 8 times x, in this case plus 8 times x. And then finally 8 times 8. 8 times minus 8 even. So, well the thing is this becomes x squared and what we have here is minus 8x plus 8x minus 64. And I've been forgetting to set this all equal to 0. Well look, minus 8x plus 8x cancels, becomes 0. So what are we left? x squared minus 64. So sure enough, we did solve it right. And again, this is just a trick that we can remember. But, as always, we actually didn't solve the question. If I wanted to solve x, Take this line, go all the way down here, and as before, we set each bracket equal to 0. x plus 8 equals 0. Okay, well, that means subtract minus 8 from both sides. x equals minus 8. Or, this other side would give us x minus 8 equals 0. Add 8 to both sides. x equals 8. So this is the way the idea of difference of squares, how we factored it. If we were just looking at the roots, it's worth mentioning there was another way we could have done this, something you might like. It's the idea we add what? x squared minus 64 equals 0. Well, if I sub add 64 to both sides, I get x squared equals 64. And again, this one's going to work. This trick will work because it's nice simple, you don't have to worry about dividing any x terms, nothing in front of it. But now, I can think x would be the square root of 64. Because I'm taking the square root of both sides. Always both sides. Well, the square root of 64 is either plus or minus 8. Because remember, minus 8 times minus 8 equals 64, plus 8 times plus 8, 64. So, both gave me a solution. This is a useful trick if you're asked to factor. If you're asked to factor, you want to do it this way. And then we're going to look at some other cases in a second where they are a little more complicated or a little more general. So thank you. That shows you how to get a solution.